It's been a big week at Metricon Stadium after one of the best wins in club history over Fremantle in Perth in round two. There were plenty of other reasons for Suns fans to smile, with key forward Tom Lynch re-signing with the club for two more seasons on Tuesday. Yeah, all along I really wanted to sign on with the Suns and thought it was a really good time to sign on. We good start of the season and I feel like the culture's really improved around the place and the professionalism. On the same day, former NFL player Brandon Kaufman was signed by the Suns as an international scholarship player. Oh, I mean, it's just a, it's just a lot more to it than, than you would think or just even just watching it on TV for the first time. Yeah, I picked it up for the first time, picked up a ball in November for the first time ever. And uh, I mean, there hasn't been a day where I haven't learned something new about it. So, Celebrations of the win over the Dockers were short-lived with the attention of the playing group quickly turning to this week's opponent, Carlton. Yeah, I think their attitude's been great. You know, they really spoke after the game last week. They're obviously very happy with the win, but it was back to focus on the next week's game. And uh, so, so, so they're taking a mature approach to it, uh, which is what you'd hope anyway. Vice-captains Dion Prestia and Stephen May emphasised how important it was for Gold Coast to prepare for this weekend's clash. We had a little talk about it just as a playing, playing group and Rocket also talked about us just making sure that we bring our effort and um, bring our structures uh, that we know and the, the result will look after itself. So I hope the mids can keep up their good work and the forward pressure up there. So, um, you know, we don't have as many inside 50s, but um, our back six is going to prepare like, like anyone, like we're playing Hawthorne. So um, that's, that's the mentality we need to be able to win home and away. Matt Rosa returns this weekend, the only change to the Suns winning lineup. He comes in for last year's number eight draft pick Callum Archie, who misses with illness. Now we'll get Matt Rosa back this week. Took Miller won't won't be available, so we we'll only get the one change. Uh, the Cal Archie has been a bit Ill, Ill early in the week, so we're going to give him a break because of his illness. Um, so we're the one change, and hopefully the week after the Took and uh, uh, Archie will be back. After two games of 30-plus disposals, midfielder Aaron Hall is in fine form and the Tasmanian is confident his side can get the win if they bring the effort and intensity against the Blues. Yeah, we just got to come out and just bring the, the intent and the effort and the pressure that we've been bringing the first two games. Um, on the weekend, our, our pressure uh, you know, was, was up there with the best in the AFL. So if we can bring that and bring the heat to them um, and then you know, go the other side of the ground and, and hurt them on the scoreboard, um, I'm pretty sure we'll be be able to win and win comfortably. The Suns take on Carlton tomorrow night under lights with the first bounce at 7.25pm. Visit goldcoastfc.com.au for more information.